let's go on a journey together towards greater gratitude. Fast walking away from your home, just simply being grateful for the shelter that you have, for all that's inside its walls, all your belongings and possessions, gratitude for all that we have. As you feel the sensation of your toes flexing, the arches of your feet stretching and your heels touching the ground, we give thanks for the ability for what we're about to do. Briskly walking and allowing your arms to just increase their length as they go side by side in opposite directions next to you. These will be your power force today along with every other part of you. Let's get into a very slow jog. Taking a breath in and allowing the oxygen to get into your diaphragm, we give thanks for this air, the oxygen that we breathe. The smallest of mercy that we have, the smallest of gifts to be able to take this breath. Small as it is, yet huge in it being our life energy force. We're part of this world and everything has its purpose as we breathe in the oxygen that the trees provide for us and we exhale in gratitude the carbon dioxide in which the trees thankfully receive. Perhaps today, or maybe another day, I want you to see and find a tree that you feel you could connect with. Just like you have a home and a shelter, trees provide so much shelter for so much life, from the insects that crawl on the ground, to the mammals that scurry up it, and the birds that rest in its branches. The tree becomes a whole habitat for thousands of creatures that some we can't even see. Keep jogging at a comfortable pace as you visualise a tree, perhaps looking out for one or thinking of one in another place. When you find a tree, again, maybe not today, I want you to try to pause for a little while. You'll slow down as you come closer to it and as you reach it, you can touch it and feel its textures. Perhaps now as we speak, you can imagine what that might be like as you touch the bark of the tree, feeling its textures on your fingertips. Breathing in its oxygen, as now you continue to jog forwards and your breathing becomes relaxed and controlled, but not paying too much attention to it. Our tree, your tree, building up a special relationship with it. Just like the Prophet Muhammad had a very special relationship with a particular tree. When he would stand and give messages to his people, he would stand next to the tree. He didn't know how much happiness that gave the tree until the time when somebody decided to build for him a pulpit and the tree cried. So just like you and me, trees have feelings and emotions and science shows that they have a heartbeat. So we give gratitude to the trees as we continue to go forwards, perhaps noticing some around us, breathing in the clean air, purified by its leaves. Knowing that everything in this universe prostrates and prostrates itself, the stars, the moon, the earth, the mountains, and the trees do prostrate themselves. Science has showed that they can lower their branches by around four inches every day, and that they do this around four or five times a day. So we give thanks and we give our ultimate gratitude for just this one thing, as we imagine and broaden our minds to think of all of the things within our environment that we have, 
and how grateful we are for having all of this within our circle of life. Bringing your attention to your core as though it is a trunk of a tree and your arms are branches, holding your core strong, upright, yet also not allowing your muscles to tense across your back and down your shoulders and arms, allowing your arms to relax and your fingers as if they were the leaves of the trees and just letting them gently balance and so it goes side to side next to your hips. Relaxing your facial muscles, any frown or tension on your forehead, just letting it relax. You've now been running for six minutes. Before we reach the halfway point, let's just have some awareness around how you're feeling right now. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it just beautiful? The breath of life. Our breath is part of us. It is part of our very existence. The, we breathe into the air and we contribute to the world through our breath with its purpose. Every intake of breath is from the nutrients of this world. We nourish and we are nourished. You leave your footprints on this world your legacy, with your truth, with your good deed and your good words. A goodly word is as a goodly tree whose root is firmly fixed and its branches reach to the sky. With every good word and action that you do, they reach to the sky. The impact, the impact of your footprints on this world, your legacy, indenting, contributing to the wisdom of those around us. How thankful we are. Briefly looking up at the sky. Noticing the difference in colour above the horizon. Maybe a cloud or two carrying its water with mercy, ready to be showered down upon those places that it needs. Everything proportionate and perfect. Perhaps a bird with a seed in its mouth ready to drop, allowing the growth to appear in time, an unexpected flower. Just like the birds, we leave our homes in the morning and we return back to our shelters at night. Our day is filled with tasks, work, agendas, We acknowledge the difficulties we can face on a day to day and they'll always be there upon us. But soaking in this glorious moment of recognition and awareness of our surroundings and the beauty within it. We've now reached the halfway point Haven't you done amazing? Just congratulate yourself for this one moment and be thankful for having reached this part of today's workout. As we take the second half of this workout together, let's take a moment to reflect while you keep on pacing forward at a comfortable speed for you. 
The more we look for things to be grateful for, the more grateful we will feel. In the opposite of that, the more things we moan and grumble about, the more negative we can feel. So let's make a conscious choice to try to focus on that which makes us feel blessed. Counting your blessings and reaching its total is impossible. We cannot count the countless blessings that we have. However, we can even try and enjoy trying, joyfully trying. So I'm going to allow you some time as you run to look around or to contemplate and ponder upon your blessings, the things which make you feel content in your life, the things which increase your sense of contentment. So take this next minute alone, reflecting, Wasn't that amazing? I wonder if it was easy to keep your brain trained to focus on the blessings. If intrusive thoughts do come our way, remember to see them as those unwanted guests. We can invite them in or we can say, no thank you, you're not coming in today. When we invite grateful guests into our homes, they give us joy, satisfaction and pleasure. Grateful guests help us to feel better about ourselves. Thanking others is just as important as being thanked. Being a thankful, grateful person makes us a more fun person to have around. A more gentle and merciful and kind. Being thankful brings positivity into our life as we recognise our blessings some of those things that we hadn't perhaps noticed before that were always there. Possessions, people, creatures, creation, wealth, places, opportunities, health. So much to say thanks for. You're doing really well. Really well. Fantastic. And I'm sure all those feel-good hormones that are surging through your blood, your veins right now, is only increasing that sense of satisfaction. 
Being grateful helps us to feel more secure in this world. It makes it seem a more delightful place to be. It gives us hope. This is our final push before we reach home or our destination. So let me just step things up a little gear. Some might say it's easy to be grateful for the lovely things we have around us and in our lives. But what about those tests and hardships? As you're heading home or your destination, you may be about to face some tricky stuff. Part of resilience and coping is about being able to be grateful from, for the tough stuff as well as the nicer stuff. Let us reframe hardships and tests. Let's think of them more like a challenge knowing that this challenge is unique for you because you can handle it. No challenge is ever given to you unless you have the tools to cope and survive it. So believe in yourself. See them as a gift. Try to. I know it's hard. I don't know, there's some tough stuff we have to deal with. But knowing that you've got what it takes to get through it. And that when you come through it out of the other side, whenever that may be, trusting in the process. There's something at the end of that. A massive reward. Wisdom. There is something waiting for you beyond that tricky thing that's happening to you in your life. When you get through it, you'll understand why you had to. So we're going to start cooling down soon, reducing your speed. Slowing down your pace, breathing and relaxing. Having acknowledged the good, the bad and the ugly. And seeing them in a different way. Having hope and self-belief that we accept it all. And we have the knowledge, the ability, the power and the strength to bring it all together. So we can cope. Breathing. Slowing yourself down. Remembering and reflecting on how we've far we've come so far. And feeling hopeful and satisfied. Just take this last few moments on your own as you head home or to your destination to reflect on what you have just journeyed through. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.